Hey guys, today we're going to achieve this color splash effect where we desaturate the backdrop and only keep the main color on the key element from the photo. So we're going to use Affinity Photo as you can see. Here I am in the program already with my picture. So I'm going to duplicate this original image and now I will use one copy to desaturate everything. So let's go to adjustment panel and simply use black and white adjustment on it. Let's go with the default, maybe move the red slider just a little bit. Okay, so that's our black and white backdrop. And now from the copy above, we're going to extract only the flower. So I will use quick selection brush for that. So quick selection, around this area the program will help us to select only similar colors perfect all right let's zoom in a little bit and inspect this selection as i mentioned program help us out so maybe he missed something over here okay that's better now we can also subtract from this selection here and add back this one all right, we got our selection ready. So we're going to use this selection to simply apply the mask on this selected layer. Click here, add mask, and we are done. We got mask and I can see the background below. I deselect, don't forget to deselect your selection. And now I can inspect my design. I can add the layer style to this flower and make it glow a little bit. So we got outer glow, yellow color. We can play with blend mode here. If you want to be the white to be the yellow, sorry, to be stronger. Okay, so we got this additional glow to even highlight this main color. All right, so we got black and white backdrop and only one element is in color. What else can we do? A little frame maybe. I'm drawing this rectangle first. Rectangle to cover the whole area. Next, I will scale it down by grabbing one of the corners. And move it to the center. Align to the center of the image. Now I will hold Command or Control and click on this shape. Now it's selected, I can simply go to selection and inverse this selection. So now everything else is selected. I create a new blank layer for that and I will fill this selection with black color using bucket tool. That's really simple, bucket on the left, fill this in. I don't need this rectangle anymore, delete, deselect. And here's my black frame. Let's make it transparent. I don't want it to be like solid color, just like this. Semi-transparent black frame around the image. The image is black and white and the flower is in color. That was a really easy way to get this interesting, in my opinion, effect using just a few important tools and adjustments. It took me only three minutes. Now I'm adding additional shadow to this frame. That's not really necessary. All right, frame, flower, and original image at the bottom. So really easy project, and we can achieve this interesting effects in just three minutes. Try yourself, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.